Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today on Steve Pope Music, we're going to be talking about this, a review of the Rockman Soloist I bought back in 1987. Here goes. Hey there, rock and roller. Hi, okay, today we've got a special review for you. Nothing brand new, something old. This is the box. This is the box it came in, my 1987 Rockman Soloist. I bought brand new from Long McQuaid Music. And to prove it, I have I actually have the receipt here. Long McQuaid, June 15th, 1987. I took a picture. I'll show a picture of the receipt. So one Rockman Soloist. Um, it says here, Tom Schultz, Rockman Soloist, headphone guitar amplifier, $200. One AC adapter, $35. So I spent a total of, with taxes, $251.45. So that's the, re, uh, the receipt I've kept for 35 years. Here's the box. I'll show you what's inside in a second. And I have the official Tom Schultz SRND regulated power supply that comes with, or is supplied for the solos, sold separately, of course. So let's open up the box and see what we got inside. put the box aside so first thing you see is the owner's manual I took photographs I'll show you those and it has all the instructions on there you need and hope that's the right way up oh, that's upside down like so it shows you all the different configurations that you can do with your Rockman soloist in the box you have your official Schultz research and development headphones that come with the soloist in the case little foam fellows i don't even know if i've ever worn these they fold up for you know uh, for transportation purposes and you pull down and you could listen to your rockman with your little rockman headphones so I'll put those aside and the box this is it this is the official tom schultz rockman soloist from 1987. it has a little clippy on the back so you can hook this onto your belt and you can walk around, play and practice guitar anywhere. Put your headphones into the headphone jack, listen to it, play, not interrupt or disturb anybody. The clip can clip, can, uh, can come off. I don't have the screw for that. And it has the inputs and outputs on the front here. I'll put a photograph of that up. On the back side, it has where you can install uh, 2468 batteries if you want to run it off battery power but since i have the official adapter i've never had to put batteries in this thing so it has on the front the auxiliary input slash low level output it has a control for core stereo and mono there's a control for clean edge and distorted there's a three position volume click switch it's a minus 10 db minus 5 db and maximum volume and then there's an on off switch Beside that, you have your guitar input, and beside that, you have your headphone out jacks, which is also your output that you're going to put into a mixer. But in my case, I'm not using a mixer. I'm going to go into my audio interface. So I bought a wire. It has a stereo eighth inch and a regular quarter inch guitar jack on this side. So my uh, signal chain is going to be uh, guitar into the Rockman Soloist, Rockman Soloist into my Focusrite Scarlet Solo, and then into my DAW, which is uh, Persona Studio One. So here we go. Let's plug it in and see how it sounds. Okay, we got ourselves all plugged in here. So again, the, guitar, the signal chain is guitar, the humbucker pickup, going into the Rockman Soloist. Soloist is going out to my audio interface. Audio interface is going to my DAW no other effects at all this is straight in and as it would sound so i'm gonna let's go to the bridge pickup and i'll just noodle about for a sec you can hear what this sounds like and let's go to the neck pickup And that is in the clean channel in mono. That sounds cool. 
put it to the neck or the bridge pickup. That is neat. Does not sound like the first Boston album. But, but, if you change a few things, it just might. I'm going to play, um, let's see, right now, as it is in the mono clean channel, I'll just do a little noodling about here, and, and then I'll change it to the chorus. So let's try this out. Now, I'm going to put the chorus effect on, and this is going to blow your mind. Isn't that neat? That is so chorusy. Okay, I bet you that uh, this album was recorded with one of these rockmen. This is Def Leppard's Hysteria. Doesn't that sound just like the record? That is wild. Why not play some Boston? Doesn't that sound neat? Let's try a... That just sounds wild. Let's try back to mono and we'll play the edge. We'll see what the edge sounds like. chorus on that. That's starting to sound like the Boston, like the third stage Boston. Let's go back to mono and I'll put it on the distorted channel. See how long I can hold the note for. It just goes forever. I just hit the A once, it's still going and going and going. That's pretty wild. But does this does this sound like the first boss album? Oh, 
does, doesn't it? It sounds just like the first album. Uh, let's try it. Let us put some chorus on there. And... sound like the record for the Boston third album the uh other than that, I think I'd prefer to keep it in mono. Something like uh, on China Grove doesn't work for me. It's not cool, but for uh, works for that. I believe that's what they use for it. Um, Too chorusy for the second boss of the album. But... How about Zeppelin? Would that be good? Is cool. What a neat machine. That is the Rockman Soloist by Tom Schultz of Boston that I purchased in 1987. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe pick yourself up one of these things. They are wicked cool. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hey there, rock and roller.